go ahead and cover all these quick. Gagnito. Oh, the pommel thrust is real strong in this matchup. <laughs> or against Union. Yeah, I feel like the spreading palm is incredibly strong in this matchup too. But I think spreading palm is strong in every matchup. Uh, I'm not actually <laughs> sure enough. why he didn't I feel like it's, to bring that. I feel like it's even better when you have uh, Megami with good reactions. It's kind of the main thing I, I was thinking there. I but... think maybe the concern was if like if you set up for a big uh spreading palm and your opponent holds up polite return it's a bit awkward cuz all your attacks uh lose to polite return you could retreat to range 5 though yeah but then you aren't really attacking all that much you can Oh, uh -oh. Yeah, that's maybe. bad. I'll try to commentate what's happening in the meantime. Um, it looks like Gagnito is playing Multiflora with no tokens just to get the growth and the first basic action forward move. Discards a card to hand size. I think, I think uh, Purple is deliberately playing quickly to try to get as little of this on video as possible. His hand is just moving wild. So far, he's done a focus and a uh, sorry, a forward movement, and it passes retro wind and played it. Which player? We'll what? Uh, Gagnito. We will see if this hits anything. There's a good number of attacks in the deck. Oh, it hit a song and dance. Pretty good. Song Dance is Song Dance is definitely something his opponent could have been relying on to block an attack this turn, but there are no further attacks coming. Research on the perpetual, of course. Now he can't use that too often if he wants to build to his immortal flower, but But I don't know if I like him using it when he doesn't have much of a follow up here, but Oh, and we have the reverse perpetual, revealing the hand, not hitting anything from it. The knowledge of uh, polite return is quite significant, but other than that, it was only one aura damage, which should probably actually be dealt. In no, I don't think the damage has been dealt. Is that stream up yet? Am I not streaming on Discord? No, apparently not. Uh, it went down. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, wrong window. Wow. Oh, I can't type. Wow, it's blanking out ERP. Yep, it, it blanks out ERP because it stands for Erotic Roleplay. <laughs> that is what I mean. I did mean P erotic or roleplay actual. <laughs> the sensor is, is ridiculous. It... I feel like it makes everything a little bit more profane, honestly. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> 
I wasn't focused enough on that. I was busy looking at the damage. I'm pretty sure they were at range 6 at the start of Purple's turn, but... I don't know if I like him using it when he doesn't have much of a follow-up here, but... Or wait, no, I got disconnected. I don't know. No, when I came back, they were range 6, I think, and Gagnito recovered instead of moving up. Alright, well, he knows that uh, his opponent's polite return. Slash coming down? And throws a slash into it. Probably. Comes well. out. Mm. The aggressive play return follow up. Yeah. I think play return to life. Okay. Well, you're definitely playing that. That's always happening. With no... I think you can just hold the card in hand. Leaves yep. you on an even reshuffle. He likes the even reshuffle. And, um... Well, he might not have the even reshuffle if he wants to cancel Gagnita's attack, though. Well, Or he won't be able to cancel it. He, he can can't react cancel. Yep. Yeah, he can react. That's probably not getting played, then. Of course, of course, gets put on top. Yep, both players wanting to be at range four and simultaneously not wanting to be at range four. What well, on your turn, and then somehow you don't want it to not be there on their turn. <laughs> Turns out those things don't work well together. Right. Got the Brandish and the Sunny Stage this turn, so free Vigor Spend. All right, all right. Um, he might be concerned about another reaction. Brandish is not great against Tokoyo's reactions in general. Yeah, song and Dance, Light Return, okay. Mortal Flower, I guess. <laughs> Just goes ahead and sets up the Sunny Stage. His so opponent can I duck to the... two, but there's nothing to do with two. Oh. Thank you, Manglu. Hmm. And his opponent might have to look at a potential... Uh, oh, well, I guess he'll know now that there's a polite return. Ah! Cards are going everywhere. So given that there is a um, polite return, I think maybe you just duck to two range and then focus once or something. I don't know. You could trade with the sunny stage, but then you also have to get through the polite return. Yeah, what to save. Oh, sad to see you go. And he could just sit on two vigor. Uh, it's fine if you don't get that back. Chooses to dodge the sunny stage. Remind Jack Nito of his perpetual wind as well. Oh my god. Very, very temporary winds going on. <laughs> Man, that, that hand is so obnoxious. You look at that and you're like, okay, so how do I ever deal damage? Yeah, you gotta go card for card. Whoever has the most oh. attacks wins. Yep. He did go down to one vigor just now. Does he have a vigor recover in hand? He does not. He has Brandish, Rabbit right, Step, so... and... Plants or plate return. Won't get a resurge nor a top deck here. Yeah, he's just throwing it out aggressively. It's not getting cancelled either. Alright, yeah. this gets pommel thrust. Wait, 
Yeah, alright. That does get pommel thrust. Put him in that four. He's using that to get to try the other thing, but he range. knows his opponent has. Oh yeah, I, I'm thinking the uh, Vasti would have been real good. I guess it gets eaten by a perpetual wind sometimes, but any times it doesn't. That's a cool combo to increase the mastery range and then play sunny stage. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. This goes on to it, of course. Cool. Well, maybe not, of course. Of course might not be the correct word, but... Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, he should get another growth token from the sunny stage correct? oh yeah so by playing out the sunny stage okay at some point, he's going to start needing to put, like, uh, multiple seed tokens on things. Read... Because he's not, like, enabling his own Thresh next turn. If he draws into it, which, depending on whether he reshuffles. Both these tokens will fall off, and then he won't have an enhancement with the seed. Yeah, and then Multiflora is uh, throughout, so... It would be yeah. a lengthy process. Yeah. Said multiflora sticks around forever. Playing the glancing with two vigor, even. Is that a range three lightning strike? Oh. Oh yeah, that is. Oh, that is a. Ooh. Oh yeah, no. Good catch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. good point. Good point. Oh, wait. Yes, yes. so it is range four. <laughs> that glancing strike was legal. The flight return has been played. Wait a minute. Cancels then me. can't you still move forward in this? You can. Two no, seven. because the mastery the master resistance each. and the also... and the range are increased both. So if you go to two Sakura in distance, you're at distance three, which is not then violating. During... Their enhancement phase, both pedals will fall off at the same time. Um, but he gets to determine the order of the pedal. Yeah. Things mm -hmm. disenchant, so... You choose the order of the order. effect that affects the number of seed tokens on it? Sorry, what? Oh, you're saying the seeds the leave simultaneously. Seed yeah. But the disenchants are determined in order. I yes, gotcha. Yes. So it actually won't hit. So if you knew to roll well, if you oh, go to okay. two, then it wouldn't hit. If you go to two, two, three distance, two Sakura, then it wouldn't hit. Yes. Interesting. All right, so he does go for the reshuffle. Now, final blow is dead. Until he perpetual wins again. Oh, it's good. Like just given his specials, it's a little bit hard to get that far under. Wait, his third special was Eternal Migrant, correct? I believe that's right. I think they both took Eternal Migrant and Perpetual Win. If he plays pretty fast and loose with his flare, it might be hard. It, he would have to play very fast and loose with his flare to get under five on his opponent's potential. Final blow turn, yeah. Final blow turns, yeah. It's theoretically possible, but it's also I think super likely. theoretically possible that he gets pressured into doing Immortal Flower before Final Blow, but... That yeah. seems unlikely. The biggest attack you can block, though, is what brandish. Yeah, it would damage? be it would be like a resolve brandish. Ah, uh, but brandish is covered by so many of his other reactions. Yeah.
bunch of things happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone's just sitting, doing dash one attack. Every other attack gets cancelled. Clash upon clash. Well, gonna have to burn a card. It is it has been a pretty good game so far. Uh, it's sad, but I think you do have to get rid of Thresh here. It's interesting to see him stay at two vigor without polite return. I think he wanted to resurge his perpetual wind. He did resurge last turn though, since he. Oh, oh, you're talking about Gagnita, sorry. Yeah, Gagnita. Oh, wait, yeah, Purple even got the polite return. I. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think that's a good bluff by him then. Looking like neither side is really willing to leave range 2 or burn bigger. Yeah, um, that can happen in these sorts of matchups. Usually that means it'd go to whoever brought, um, breakpoint, but neither player did, so... Who has the better aura recovery? Oh, uh, and this is where you're, you're sad that you discarded Thresh. Yeah, I mean, it was very likely he was going to draw something this turn, just given the contents of his deck. Something had to go, I don't know. Would you even polite return that? You might just keep him from redrawing it. And now you're in the awkward spot where you can't really build pressure. Oh, wait, no, he does have the Eternal Migrant that you could pop here. It's, it very much brings uh, Final Blow back to life a little bit, but... Actually, quite a bit. If he takes the Eternal Migrant to life, he could reshuffle into Final Blow. It is dodgeable at this range, though. That's true with the uh, read in play. This plays the pull. Oh. Gosh. Darn it. What's going on here? That one hit me as well. Oh no, it looks like it's a TTS thing. Online. Let's check. Uh, people oh, in global chat are going wild. <laughs> All right. Wait, is that an offensive pommel strike? Is it purple's it turn? It looks like it's an offensive pommel strike. 
Oh, what what happened to the polite turn though? Is that it in the? Oh yeah, did he take that to light? No, he took that to. What happened to that card in? Oh, remind him. Break yeah, what well, what what happened to the damage from the polite return? Okay, he took it to life. Went from six to five life. Yep. Oh, he was at six before. Oh, I see. Right, right. We are at five distance now. All right, there's the perpetual win. That seems like a... Oh, okay, the perpetual wind here to pressure the aura for an eternal migrant follow-up, I guess. Yeah, but if you're migranting, then you're going down, if you're focusing and going down to zero aura, that might not be the best idea. Hmm? Not yep. even in range of migrant right now. That's true. Not even yet. But you have to go forward movement. He doesn't need to uh, focus, focus anymore, right? Migrant. Wait, sorry, what? Oh yeah, no, this is resolving the Yeah, eternal migrant yeah, is two player. How don't you just die too? <laughs> oh right, sorry, I'm, my mistake I had the wrong thing. Oh, you're thinking immortal you fire. You yeah. do just Die to final blow. Final blow. So either no you no cards in hand, one flare. One. Have to. Yeah, have the to. only thing you can do right now is move backwards one space. Otherwise, you are dead. Oh uh, no! Purple is cackling with glee here. Did oh. you think about it? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. He does consider uh. that? That also feels bad. He just moved forward in order to be able to make the eternal migrant attack, and he's moving back. Like, yeah, it's like if I had done uh, the, the read in a different is... order or something. But yeah, okay, good. You have to do that. <laughs> you have to do that, but it feels so bad. Oh, I see. He wanted to play out all his cards so he could reshuffle them. Hmm. I guess. That's a uh, risky, risky business. Why are is the scripting broken? Ow. Why are half the sacred tokens in shadow not shadow? I think it's elevation. Maybe not. No, it's broken. It oh broken yeah, it's out. because it was a reloaded save. The scripts didn't load. Yeah. Is that lethal? One, two, three, four. No, it is not. Sadly. If he does four damage, exactly four damage, then Mortal Flower comes back online. You just move forward. You're not even in range of that, I think. Yeah. If you just I think, move forward I think you move forward a bunch because your opponent needs to basically recover four times next turn and he's only drawing one or two cards and one vigor. And you just move forward twice. Like, there's a chance he draws a. Uh, no, he didn't have Song and Dance. Pommel Thrust, which can get him to safe at four. Then he would need all his resources to go back. Yeah, to right. But doing this just. I, I don't. I don't like giving him more flare. I, I think you just realize your opponent can't possibly not get hit by a final blow, so don't give him the chance to. Eh, it's still hard for him to get to five anyways, though. Maybe this is fine. I also feel like Purple is missing that he could move to two Sakura in distance, but... He's definitely missing that. Oh, he just passed? He just passed. He does die now, then? Yeah, he just dies now. I don't think there's any way around um... that. Unless Purple misses yeah. it. Yeah. I think at this point purple's in the wait, is there a card that stops this stage of the game? Hey, are we sure purple brought final blow? We yeah. are sure. But there's yeah, there's nothing that stops this. Right? He's looking He's through all the rest He's just being sure about that. Don't want to don't want to choke here at the last second. Here goes three, four. Right. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you, final blow is a reasonable. Oh.
He could. Oh yeah, he couldn't put the perpetual wind first because it's throughout. But yeah, no, that's game. Okay. Amazing. Bit of a climactic finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Plays the freaking pommel thrust. Uh, yeah. There's nothing else. Alright, so it looks like purple would be advancing. Well, that looks like it. Yeah, so where does this leave us Unless now? they're counting something that I'm not... Like, he was about to move his life to flare, and then he stopped. Oh, I think they're they're just post-gaming now. Yeah, I mean... I think both players use Perpetual Wind too much. They do, like, seem to like that card, and also like to not resurge it. Um, yeah, okay. That was a pretty good game, I think. Uh, I think Gagnier just let his guard down, got aggressive with the, uh, the Mirage that he could have had. Uh, I would have, uh,